It's time to leave Honiton and never come back. That bite on my leg is really starting to hurt. I won't be able to run. The wound must be deeper than I thought. Wait, did I succeed in the end? I mean, the soup was a fiasco, but Mary did drink my blood in the end. Straight from my leg. Speaking of which, I must put a dressing on it when I get home. midnight already. The town's asleep. Then again, this town is always asleep. Why did he even park so far away? In hindsight, it was really unnecessary.
Nurse, wake up! Come quick! You need to save him! This way, hurry! He's in the stable! with him? Is he ill? Oh, please, nurse, do something. Make him better. I'm sorry, Kieran, but Rich is gone. Gone? But how? Why? He was fine yesterday. No, he can't just die like this. That's not fair. I thought you hated Richard. No, we've been neighbors for the last eight years. Joy, sure, it wasn't always easy. He, he did bite me on the ass more times than I could count, but he didn't mean it. He was just messing with me. I know deep down he was as fond of me as I was of him. And now, he's gone. How is that possible? He was in great shape, and not even that old. He was a good horse. We're all gonna miss him. Oh, bloody hell. Richard. You silly old sausage. Bye, Richard. I've only known you for a short time, but... I thought you were a very sweet and a very lovely horse. I wish I had a chance to get to know you better. Yeah, farewell, matey. You were one hell of a horse. You ran like the wind. I was always proud of you. I'm glad I didn't sell you to those bloody Flanagans I am. Gosh, the look on their face when I said no. Ha! <laughs> Bastards. What if I, I just thought... You remember to feed Richard every day, did you? What? Cos look at him, poor thing. He's skin and bones. Are you saying it's my fault? Well, it is someone's fault. The poor bugger didn't just drop dead for no reason. So pardon me if I'm a little pissed off to see my old friend dead like this. Did you or did you not feed Richard as you were meant to? Yes, I fed him every day. You sure? Yes, I am. It wasn't even my job, but I did it anyway. You know why? Because you asked me to do it. Ah! Bollocks to that! You can all just... Fuck off! He'll come around. Let's give him some time.
are you doing, George? Tell Steve that we're going tomorrow, will ya? We need him to get everything ready. Steve? I didn't mean to look, but we found it by accident. It was just a matter of time. You know what he's like. Naive little fool. Why did she marry him? We'll never know. Oh, come on, you're flooding the house. Sorry, dear, I, I just... What am I supposed to think about this? Oh, he's been looking for Steve all day, and it's like he's bloody vanished. Well, wherever he is, he's not going to be in this bath, is he? Out we go, George. They're in the kitchen. What? The pearls. They're in the kitchen where you left them. Remember? Oh, oh I knew I should have called the police as soon as I saw them. Showering in your clothes. What's wrong with you? You shouldn't have taken it, son. It wasn't yours in the first place, and it sure as hell ain't yours now. George, do you hear me? These are your dirty secrets. Boy, you won't have anything to do with them. Oh, no. It's between you and her. Steve isn't here. It's me, Andrew. Fine. Have it your way. Sarah always listened to me. For you, you were always trouble. Snap out of it, George. I know. I'm sorry. I tried. Let's get you out of this bath, George. What? No, not yet. I'll drive. I told you. George. You'll have to return this. Return and apologize. I won't have it any other way. Goodness gracious me. A common thief under my roof. What's it come to? Is that cold water? No, that's fine. But, Steve? Steve! No! You had your whole life ahead of you, Steve. That didn't have to end like this. You, you always had it in you. This darkness. This stupid desire to destroy yourself. The sun? No. Well, he never had a son. Right. I'm sorry. But I'm getting you out, whether you want it or not. The fire will warm you up soon enough. You'll be alright, yeah? But... What was that all about, George? Well, I, uh, To be honest, you don't quite remember, dear. But since you're here, well, we could do with a nice sandwich, if you're not too busy right now. I've already made one. Except we didn't have a lot of stuff left in the fridge, so it might be a little different. Oh, I'm sure it's not as bad as you say, dear. <laughs> Jenny? Where are you? Down here. I found something. See? A secret door. <laughs> it was well hidden behind these shelves, but I had a feeling there was something special about this basement.
Is it locked? Of course it's locked. You ever seen a door like this that wasn't? And not just with a normal lock. Oh no, it's some fancy electronic device. I don't quite understand that. But I will figure it out. I'll get in there. Even if I have to blow this fucker up. What were you looking for here? And why? There's something here. Something that even George doesn't know about. Remember that fucking priest? He knew about it, and he wanted to find it too. <laughs> but the bastard was looking in the wrong fucking place. This door's bad news. We should leave it alone. Well, I think this door is great news, and we should totally open it. But that's because I'm young and adventurous, and you're... Finish your sentence, Jenny. Ugh, oh, forget it. No, say it. You're just... not a lot of fun, are you? Oh. This isn't you. Tell me what happened. Right. Now. I, uh... I think that... That... There are... Drugs... On the other side... Of the door. Drugs? That perv... From the church... Came here... Cause he needed them. And now I do too. Sadly. <laughs> I get it. You're addicted to drugs. The withdrawal symptoms are hitting you big time right now. That explains a lot. I just need... One... More... Time. It all makes sense. At the end of a great high, there's always a great low. Huh? Did you try the other door here? The one at the end? Yeah, there's nothing there. Just a little coal storage. No one's used it for years. Oh. Okay. Why? No reason. I was just curious. It sounded like you were wrecking the place. Jeez, Angie. Why do you always have a problem with everything? I just knocked over a bunch of boxes. It's not like anyone gives a fuck. So, please. Pull that fucking stick out of your ass and chill, yeah? Beg your pardon? Don't be so negative, could you? That bad energy on you, fucking hell, Angie. You really need to work on that. I'll talk to you when you're in a better mood. I'm in a great mood, Angie. It'll be even better when I finally open this fucking door. But I don't need your help with that. I'm sure you have better things to do. Like changing George's diapers, starving horses to death, or maybe sucking that fat retard's dick. Huh. I bet he'd like that. But <laughs> whatever. I don't care what you do. Just don't come crying on my shoulder when you need a friend. I don't need losers like you to weigh me down.
Hello? Hello? Who's that? The name's Murphy. I'm the one in the hat. Can you see me? What the hell's happened to me? Well, what do you think happened? You saw the warning signs and you ignored them. <sighs> Just like me. Signs? What signs? Don't breathe the sea air. Does that ring any bells? But there's no point arguing about it. We're practically already dead. What's wrong with the air? You fill your lungs with that shit. And it freezes all your motor functions for as long as it's circling in your system. It's also painful as hell. Not at first, but mark my words. You'll feel it too. He's the man with no face. How should I know? He didn't tell me his name. I don't think he can speak at all. All I know is that he brings people here once they're paralyzed. Then he coats them in hot wax so he can turn them into statues, dressed as crew and passengers of this fucking ship. He's left for now. You know why? Yes, you guessed it. He's getting a bath of molten wax nice and ready for you, cuz darling, you're about to be dipped in that shit from head to toe. So, uh, perhaps it's best that, well, you prepare for it. Mentally. No. Oh yes, yes indeed. I'm already half dead inside my wax shell, darling. Just waiting for the suffering to end. Oh, thanks to that... What would you even call him? Um... I'd call him the fucking arsehole. And I'd say that's rude, but justified. How long have you been here, Murphy? I don't know. The day and night cycle doesn't exist aboard this ship, but it feels like a very long time. How did you end up on Burnhouse Lane? Oh, darling, the things I'd done, it was all just a matter of time. I came to Burnhouse Lane to pay for the lifetime of overindulgence. But the price, well, the price has exceeded my expectations. And you? What's a fine young lass like yourself doing on Burnhouse Lane? I smoke like a chimney. Ah, cigarettes. A dirty habit, but I don't judge. I've had my share of bad habits myself. I know the bittersweet taste of addiction all too well. Are you saying that all these sculptures have dead bodies inside them? Oh, yes. And all the ones up on the main deck, too. Some are quite old, hollow, rotten inside, merely holding together. Can't you tell by the stench of death? Your fucking arsehole has been quite a busy bee. And the worst part is... I know. The worst part is... We'll soon join them. At least the pain will stop. It stops when you're dead, right? Well, I'm not gonna die like this. Give me a moment to think. I admire your willpower, darling. But I've tried everything. We are gonna die here. Oh, I should have never set my foot aboard this ship in the first place. But you know what they say. Curiosity killed the cat. Miller. Fuck 
me. You're seeing this too, lady? lady you did it this poisonous air won't trouble you now but before you leave this dreadful ship and i really hope you do could you do me a little favor first yes thank you turn something big and sharp and smash me to pieces with it would you are you mad why would i do that to you i'm in so much pain I just want the suffering to stop. Please. I've been here for so long. I'll welcome death with open arms. I... Uh, I'll think about it.
It's a large metal bell. See, you found your little one. I found something, a creature, but I don't know what it is. Put it down somewhere, will you? We'll take a closer look. He's a good little boy, isn't he? What? Good God, just look at him. He's almost starved to death. Feed him. He belongs to you now. Feed him? With what? Just give him part of yourself. That's what mothers do.
This is it. That axe. Hit me. Shatter me into pieces. It is time for my agony to end. Yes, and again. It's time for the final blow. Murphy?